talking about a guy sitting in his backyard in the suburbs and he's just describing this beautiful evening and the last line is, it is a night when kings in golden suits ride elephants over the mountains. So my name is Fred Nicolaus and we're here talking about my record, Golden Suits. From age 27 to 28, I had this really crazy year where like, I got chased out of my apartment by rats, like I went through a breakup, like I kind of went broke and went to Germany with my dad on this weird trip. And it was just this like crazy transformative year. I mean, it's not so literal. It's not like I was walking down the street, then this happened, then that happened. Like it's, you, you take the material of your life and twist it and then you change one thing to make it rhyme and then you add something from something else. I mean, the record is kind of sad. It's kind of a bunch of doomed ballads, but like I think, you know, I never wanted to just be mopey, sad sack all the time, and I think that John Cheever was a sad person, but in his writing is so beautiful, it's hard to describe it as like just sad, you know? He sort of takes this like sort of epic suffering and puts it through this lens that makes it really beautiful and puts it into these little ordinary details and gives it this sort of sublime quality. So I could pass the day. This guy Fraser McCulloch of this band Milagres produced it. Um, he engineered almost every song, which is great. Um, Chris Bear of Grizzly Bear played drums on a few of the songs. Chris Taylor, also of Grizzly Bear, um, played saxophone on one of the songs. I kind of, I mean, I like, I always wanted to make music, but I kind of fell into it because my freshman year roommate was Daniel from, uh, you know, Department Deals and Grizzly Bear. We started making music together, and it just got more and more serious as the years went by. After a while you just realize if a song doesn't work sort of acoustically, it's just never gonna work. I mean, you know, some people would argue with that, but I think that like for me it's true, you know. We went swimming long. I mean weirdly I would say that like Daniel is like a big influence on me. It's kind of a silly thing to say because we've like sort of worked on a project together, but I mean I think I didn't take music that seriously until I started working with him. Sorry, what was the question? Is there going to be more Department of Rebuild stuff? I really hope so. I mean, there's it, there's no reason why not. I mean, you know, I really like working with Dan, and it's just a question of time because, like, he's so busy with Grizzly Bear, and now I'm doing this, and it's just like, I'm sure we'll find the time to sit down together, but there's no immediate plan. How